So 315 is kind of here, I guess you could say. It's on PTU and it's been there for a few weeks now. And along with it comes, of course, the Origin 400i, teased at CitizenCon in their fantastic demonstration. The 400i isn't the main focus of this video. The entirety of patch 315 and my thoughts about it are what the focus of this video is. But we might as well start where the attention lies. So Origin's 400i is, of course, their mid-level entry constellation competitor. Now, I don't actually agree with that. Personally, I think the 400i sits sort of in a cruiser lineup, sort of with the Phoenix. I don't think it sort of pairs up well against most, if not all, of the constellations. Definitely not the cargo variant, and definitely not the Andromeda. It does have some strengths, mostly in its styling and interior layout, but I am not a fan. I'm sorry I said it, I'm not a huge fan of the 400i. I will be making a more detailed video about it, explaining my reasons for it, but in short, I think it does fly well now, anyway, in the later patch revisions. And it does, of course, offer some very good, I don't know, like a hub. It's a very good hub for you and two friends. It's not the best solo ship, even though they sort of marketed it as one during the season con demonstration. And it does have some really unique entrances, just like the original freelance design. You have staircases, a hangar bay at the back, well, cargo bay, and a dedicated bike the Origin X1 craft hangar bay at the front. So really a very versatile and well kitted out ship. But enough of the 400i, let's move on to one of the biggest, biggest improvements to 315 and that is the introduction of the new personal infantry manager. Now you can drag and drop items from your infantry if it lets you, as well as drag and drop items to and from your personal infantry to a container, whether that be your habitation, whether that be your starting location or now your ships. That's right, your ships will store things for you with persistence, as long as they don't blow up. That's fantastic. This game might finally be becoming a real life, persistent, come back, come on and play game, just like any other out there. And along with totally new persistence comes a totally new way of mediating life and death. Now, every major outpost will have something like this, a medical pharmacy or a respawn outpost, a hospital, if you will, but what do you do here? Well, there's more of that to go into at some other point, but to make it brief, you can now set different places as your default spawn location if you take damage or die in a horrendous accident, which means you can't be revived. Whenever you start the game, brand new in 3.15, you'll be shown a screen like this, where you have to create your character and select your default spawn location. At the moment, you can't choose Grim Hex, which is by far the best default location you can possibly pick. You'll be given the four major landing zones. Lawville, Art Corp, Crusader, and Microtech. Of course, whichever one of these you choose is totally up to you and whatever plans and objectives you have. Each outpost now is your new central hub and your new basic spawn location. No more do you just respawn wherever it is you last logged off. If you die, you respawn at the hospital where you last set your respawn point. So make sure you spend a good little bit of time thinking about where it is you want to have all of your things stored and where it is you want to respawn every time you die because trust me if you set the wrong one it's extremely time consuming speaking of time consuming the biggest gripe i have actually with 315 kind of pertains to the new inventory system as you can probably tell from the videos and the displays above you um you can only carry and transfer personal inventory items so weapons outfits tools, utilities, etc. You can't transfer or transport ship components, weapons or hardware, which means every single time you want to kit out a ship, you better know exactly where the item is you want to buy and take the exact ship, because you can only fly one obviously, to that location. Because once you buy an item, it stays at that hub spot forever. So if I buy a weapon from her L1, it stays at her L1. I can't go to Microtech where I might have all of my ships and actually transfer it over. I have to take my ship to her L1 to equip the item, which as you can imagine, is extremely time consuming and extremely infuriating. But that is by far the biggest gripe I have with 315's design. In terms of actual patch, of course there are always bugs. Right now, the currently and most annoying bug is just falling over for no reason and being incapacitated. Because of course, when you do go down now, you stay incapacitated rather than just dying. That also means that players have new missions they can grab, whether that be revival missions for medical personnel or the new bunker missions, because 
most likely if you want to grab some great loot you'll be heading to one of the new bunker missions which is for 315. Now before you get too excited please don't start thinking that SIG have created manufactured designed brand new bunkers no it's more just a change to the AI that is usually within those bunker missions so now with the addition of spawn rooms just like you would expect from any game you can have waves of enemies respawning one after the other which means no longer are you just running into a bunker killing a few guards and then just sitting there counting your change you now have to constantly be on guard because not only will you get crime stats now for killing guards in bunker missions like you normally would which will then generate missions for people to come hunt you you've now got to contend with constant respawning waves of bad guys which is great for loot generation if you want to farm weapons because of course with persistence you now keep everything that you find and lose everything that you lost so if you do find yourself needing some weapons i can definitely recommend heading to any if not just one of the bunkers on any planet and just farming those ai now within these bunkers as well are little loot crates which are fantastic for finding special items which you might not own and items you never thought you could own whether that be exclusive subscriber gear or just some very unique colors on some very common guns which in all honesty is probably what's going to keep me coming back trying to find those rare items now that's mostly what the hype around 315 is all about but it is honestly not all good news so the performance is lacking and of course this is the PTU so it's not a real example of how players are going to take it when it finally does go live there are definitely some game breaking bugs that are going to cause people to absolutely lose everything that they've worked hard for which is something that I believe SIG need to crack down on immediately before they publish this release but maybe you have played PTU and you've got a differing opinion share that with me down in the comments below this is not a deep dive into 315 this is just a quick video to sort of talk about the hype and the real go-to points for 315's release if you have any questions and you want to know more then again let me know in the comments down below please stay tuned for even more information about 315 coming in some later videos as well as that review of the 400i and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up maybe even subscribe because let's face it i'm not going to get a javelin without those referrals no, i'm only joking I appreciate each and every one of you for coming by. Thank you so, so much. And if you want to catch me live over on Twitch, then please go do that. You can click on the links down in the description to go follow me on Twitter as well. Or, of course, get a little insight into what's up and coming over through the Discord. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. So until then, bye-bye for now.